Donald Trump's thank you tour off to shaky start with Cincinnati Arena half empty. Donald Trump's thank you tour of the U.S. got off to a shaky start in Cincinnati, Ohio, with around half the seats in the arena empty. Protesters gathered between U.S. Bank Arena and the Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio, on Thursday, December 1. The stop at U.S. Bank Arena is the first of President-elect Donald Trump's USA thank you tour. Vice President-elect will also be at the rally, however Ohio Governor John Kasich will not be attending, reported the date in Daily News. Kasich did not endorse Trump during his election run. Earlier Thursday, Trump visited Carrier Corporation in Indianapolis, Indiana, where he met with workers and discussed plans for the plan to retain 1,000 jobs and stay in Indiana. Credit. Instagram HRD and CLLD are via Storyful. The same stadium was at full capacity when he spoke there a few weeks before Election Day, but on Thursday night there was no one queuing at the entrance or the concession stands. Ohio was one of the vital southern swing state that helped the president elect a victory, but it seemed as though the ardor had died at the U.S. Bank Arena. The stadium has a capacity of more than 17,000, but around half the seats were still empty shortly before the Republican billionaire was due to take the stage with Vice President-elect Mike Pence. Mr. Trump tried to enliven the muted appearance by announcing he will nominate James N. Mattis, a 66-year-old retired Marine Corps general who led operations in the Middle East, as Secretary of Defense. We are going to appoint Mad Dog Mattis as our Secretary of Defense, said the business mogul. But we're not announcing it until Monday so don't tell anybody. Mr. Trump had even paid for a radio advert to play in the city to publicize the tour. It's cold outside, explained one of the sparse crowd members, Tim Smolansky, a 63-year-old semi-retired aerospace engineer attending with his wife. Others said huge traffic jams and sealed off roads near the venue, home to the minor league Cincinnati Cyclones ice hockey team, could explain why the arena was not full. The property mogul drew huge enthusiastic crowds during the presidential campaign, but his opening rally looked like something of a damp squib. Those present were nevertheless thrilled the 70-year-old had undertaken what is essentially a victory tour, an unusual step for a newly elected president in the key swing states that handed him the presidency. I think it's just exciting that he even wants to spend the time to acknowledge the people that brought him to the place that he is, said 71-year-old Terry Babick, who is retired but still does radio broadcasting. Mr. Babick said he and his wife drove five hours from Cleveland just to attend. The Trump supporters in attendance said that so far, the president-elect had met their expectations during the transition period before he succeeds Barack Obama on January 20. Despite media reports of tensions and hiccups in the process. Sure, some of his tweets could be worded better, said William Kelly, an 18 year old student at the University of Cincinnati who voted for the first time last month. I think some of the stuff he says might be straightforward and off the cuff and sure, not what you want to hear, but it's what we need to hear because it's true. Mr. Kelly, wearing a Trump hat, cited the deal reached to keep 1,000 jobs at an air conditioner plant in Indiana from being shifted to Mexico as proof that the president-elect was a man of action. At the official souvenir stand, red Make America Great Again hats had been replaced with different red caps that say USA and Trump 45 on the back, as he will be the 45th U.S. president. With wires. Thank <laughs> you.